Okay, Libertarian girl. candidate Gary Johnson is just a few Your percentage boo. points away from earning a primetime slot in the debates. No. If we even have a debate, you know, we'll see if Donald backs out of this too. But unlike Bill Clinton, <laughs> this guy openly admits that he inhaled. Yes, he smoked marijuana and he... Thank you, Raven. <laughs> he inhaled. So, Listen, Raven... He's telling the truth. I am a fan of, uh, of Gary Johnson. I think that he is awesome in his stances. He's pro-gay marriage. He's pro-choice. Um, less military invention for other countries. And he admits that he smokes marijuana. He admits it. And yeah. he said that he, he stopped smoking it now that he's running and he will not smoke while president. But he's... <laughs> Now, even my mama had to fess up that she did a little something back in the day to get through calculus. Yeah. Yes, I called you out. So here's the deal. I would rather someone tell the truth about it. Just tell the truth. Uh -huh. One, it's not, um, it, it needs to change, and it will change eventually. There's something else coming out. But he has 50% poll numbers, and they say they need to be raised for him to actually be in the debate. 50%. But here's what I have to say. His name is still on the ballot. If you, if he doesn't get a chance to speak, there is a website that you can go to to learn his policies and support him. Just because the news doesn't, doesn't mean that you don't have to. Yeah, and he's, he's really drawing equally right now between Democrats and Republicans, which kind of goes to show his draw. But he's pulling right around 10 to 12%. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are pulling for him to get into that first presidential debate, which is September 26. He's closer to that. But he needs 15%. I say just let him, let him audition. And if he doesn't get any Sort of bump, then knock him out of the last two. I, I, find, give him a guy a chance. I find him, extremely, give him a chance. extremely dull to watch. Are I mean, you kidding me? He's a triathlete <laughs> yeah. who's climbed the highest peaks of all He's the mountains awesome. in the world. Like, yeah. this guy is like a a normal and dude. He was New and he governor. also commonly says, I might be wrong. And one thing I appreciate about that is you've got two politicians that. B both of them, regardless of yeah, who you side with. We're seeing people that coughed. are Let so quaffed and po or not quaffed and still not apologizing. <laughs> this guy is really quaffed. But this guy is yeah, like yeah. someone that'll say occasionally, you know what, maybe I need to rethink that. That's human. That's... Let me I tell you, someone let that me tell you what he said about Black Lives Matter. He said, what it does for me is that my head has been in the sand on this. I think we've all had our hands in the sand. Let's wake up. This discrimination does exist. It has existed. And for me, personally, slap, slap, wake up. He said that. And no other... Yeah, he's like he's honest about it. I know, it. but he could be a spoiler, and at this point, nobody's checking for Gary Johnson, okay? I am. No. Yeah, but at least give him a so, chance. And I have so two words. Two sure, words. I, I, that's Ralph my only, that's my Nader. Only. Just remember yes. Ralph Nader, what happened to this country. That's all I have that's to say. That's my only concern. Where you add him to a debate, though, I'm so tired of hearing the same, but he's, but he has same no chance. He really has no chance of winning, and so I do think, to Joy's point, he becomes a spoiler. So yeah. if he takes 12% wow. away from, let's say, Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump, you know, I it's, think it's can we at least have him come visit us here and talk? How much yeah. I, I yes, we should. Fine. And Jill Stein. I think it's very unfair that you say that. And again, I'm new to the, the, the whole polit politics of it all, but if I have a choice, I should be able to make whatever choice I choose to, not just to, to please a poll. 